Kim can do a work in three days while David can do the same work in two days. Both of them finish the work together and get rupees 150. What is the share of Kim? Okay, so to find out the share of Kim, we first need the ratio of the share of Kim and the share of David. And that will be equal to the ratio of work done by Kim in one day and work done by David in one day. So Kim can do the work in three days. So in one day, Kim's work will be one by three. And similarly, in one day, David's work will be one by two. So the ratio of Kim's share and D's share, that is David's share, is two by three. Now we need to find out what share of 150 rupees does Kim get. So it is equal to Kim gets two parts out of 2 plus 3 is 5. So 2 by 5 parts of this 150 rupees. So times 150. So 5 times 30 is 150 and 30 times 2 is 60. So Kim gets 60 rupees out of these 150 rupees. A alone can do a piece of work in 6 days and B alone in 8 days. A and B undertook to do it for rupees 3200. With the help of C, they completed the work in 3 days. How much is C paid? Let us now calculate the work done by the respective parties in one day. So in one day, A will do one sixth of the work because A can complete the work in 6 days. Similarly, B will do one eighth of the work. And it is given that with the help of C, they completed the work in three days. So we have A plus B plus C is equals to one by three. The work done by them, all of these three people in one day. Now we need the work done by C in one day. So work done by C in one day will be equals to the work done by all of them minus the work done by A and B. So work done by all of them is 1 by 3 minus work done by A and B together. So that will be 1 by 6 plus 1 by 8. So this will come out to be 1 by 24. So work done by C in one day is 1 by 24. Now what we want is how much share is C paid. So for that we'll need the ratio of the shares of A, B and C. So we have shares of A is to shares of B is to shares of C is equal to the ratio of work done by A is to work done by B is to work done by C. Right. So this will come out as uh, work done by A is 1 by 6, work done by B is 1 by 8 and work done by C is 1 by 24. And that will be equal to if you solve it, you'll get 4 is to 3 is to 1. And that's the ratio of the shares of A, B and C. I mean the shares um, that will get out of this 3200 rupees they get. So this is A, B and C. Now we want to calculate the C's share. So it will be C, C's ratio or C's term in the ratio is 1 by the total parts is 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 1 is 8. So 1 by 8 times 3200 0. and that will be the money that will C get. So 8 times 4 is 32 these zeros so 400 is the amount that must be paid to C and that is option B. A, B and C can do a piece of work in 20, 30 and 60 days respectively. In how many days can A do the work if he is assisted by B and C on every third day? Well, let us look at the pattern of the work that is done in first three days. So on the first day, A is going to work. On the second day, again A is going to work. And on the third day, all of the three A, B and C are going to work because it is given that A is assisted by B and C every third day. So this is the pattern of work. So let us first calculate the work done in three days. And it will be equals to the work done by A in two days plus the work done by A, B and C in one day. So work done by A in two days will be equals to two times the work done by A in one day. And A can complete the work in 20 days. So the work done by A 
in one day is 1 by 20. We have this plus. So now we want the work done by A, B and C in one day. So this will be equals to the addition of work done by A in one day that is 1 by 20 plus the work done by B in one day that is 1 by 30 and the work done by C in one day that is 1 by 60. So this is equals to 1 by 10 plus and if you solve this you'll get again 1 by 10 and that is 2 by 10 and that is 1 by 5. So we have 1 by 5 of the work done in 3 days. So 1 fifth of work is done in 3 days. How much time will it take to do the complete work? So this is a proportion we can equate. Now we want to find the value of x. So x is equals to 3 times 5 and that is 15. So 15 days are needed to complete the work if a is assisted by B and C every third day. So our answer is option B.